From Colorado's high definition news leader, this is 9 News at 9. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Ward Lucas. And I'm Carrie McClure. Tonight we start with something uplifting instead of upsetting. Many viewers tell us they're discouraged by the amount of negative news they see and hear on a regular basis. So tonight we have the story of a cab driver turned hero. It was brought to our attention by a viewer. Nine News reporter Nelson Garcia joins us now with more. And Nelson, this cab driver was picking up a customer when he saw a fire break out at a home across the street. Kerry Usman Doy says he was lucky he was there. It happened Monday morning at 11 o'clock and few other people were around. He helped a disabled woman escape the flames of her home. But Doy would never call himself a hero. He didn't even want to take the credit at first. He says it's just not his way. When you get in Usman Doy's taxi cab, you don't just get a lift. You get a lesson in life. You learn a lot, you see a lot. Doy came to this country from Senegal in 1998. I always thought that one day I will be in America. He fell in love with Denver and became a U.S. citizen because of the opportunities. Someone that shines just a little bit brighter. Um, someone that goes just a little bit further. One year, he got into a bad accident on I-70. He was injured and in trouble. I've lost my house, foreclosure. Uh, I've lost everything. But he never lost faith. And maybe that's why he enjoys driving the disabled or others who sometimes need a little help. Before I can be a good husband, a good father, a good co-worker, a good this and that, I have to be a good human being first. That's why. I'm seeing flames coming all over. When he came across this home Monday morning. There is people in the house. I say, what? Doy found the opportunity to help Aura Glover and her disabled daughter. She was screaming, my daughter, she's inside. My daughter. A woman who uses a wheelchair. She was stuck in the doorway. Doy says that's when he gave the most important lift in his life. The flame was coming towards us. Then I ran with her. This is above and beyond because part of the blessing is the angels wanted me to be there. At first, Doy didn't even tell anybody. And he brings in this bucket and he wants us to collect donations for that family. I'm always looking a way to give back. That's why he keeps a song list for every taste of music in his cap. It doesn't cost a dime to give a smile, to give a laugh. That's why even saving someone's life is just another lift for the cab driver. I'm just thanking God for, for being around. The Red Cross is now caring for the victims who did not want to comment. Denver fire investigators have not yet determined the cause. Carrie. All right, Nelson Garcia. Thanks, Nelson. Mm -hmm. We heard about this story through a news tip. You can share your own story idea at 9news.com. Just